Um, you guys are so sexist. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's terrible. Hello, this is the Baby Angel, Angel Show. <laughs> <laughs> so since you brought that up, oh, side yeah. chick. Side know. chick. That will never ever 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 be your side chick. Chick means kawari, like before the chicken. Yeah, baby chicken. Yeah, baby chicken. You order some chicken uh -huh. and you want the chick on the side. <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. Chick is a casual word for a woman. That came from chica bonita, chica. Yeah, that's right. Chica. Spain? Yeah, Spanish. 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 Yeah. Mexican Spanish, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's why we have something called chick flicks. Chick flicks. You know, movies targeted to women. Flick means movie. Do you want to catch a flick with me later? Yeah. Flick means movie. Flick means movie. So net means internet. Mm -hmm. So net. Flicks, internet movies. Oh wow, something I never known. Yeah. What about men flicks? Action flick. Action flick. Yeah, we usually associate men with action movies. Anyways. So a chick is a casual word for a woman. Mm -hmm. And so a side chick mm -hmm. is a woman you have on the side. Mm -hmm. Remember last time we talked about your dressing on the side or the sauce on the side? Something's a side dish. Right? Mm -hmm. You've heard panchan is side dishes, mm -hmm. right? Main you've got your, sides. So you've got your main chick and you've got your side chick. You get it? Sometimes we also call that your Monday night girl. <laughs> it's true. Like seven different girls? Well, no. Tuesday night girl. It's like the... Wednesday the, night girl. <laughs> it's because Monday is not usually a night that we want to go out. Ah. So like Friday night and Saturday night are the typical date nights. Mm -hmm. So that's the night you would go out with your main chick. Mm -hmm. The night that you would go out with the girl that people can see you in. Mm -hmm. You know, the girl that you're not embarrassed of. You guys are so sexist. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's terrible. I've been cheated on. I got cheated on. I was literally cheated on. I woke up and they were on top of me doing it. So I was literally cheated on. Yeah. So Is there that, any terms for the guys? Like side man, side... Yeah, we got side, side, side dude. Side, side dude. Yeah. Dude, 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 hey dude, 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 sorry dude, 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 dudes, dude, 60. dude, I'm serious, stop. We've got a, women can also cheat. We say Monday night girl because that's usually the girl that you'll like have Netflix and chill. Oh, Netflix and chill. Yeah. Which means... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Netflix and chill in English. Means Watching some Netflix videos and just chill out. Right, and then your arm just keeps getting closer and closer <laughs> and closer and then, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> we also have a term which is Vespa. This is a really American thing. In Korea, like everybody has a motorbike, right? Okay. Nobody's ashamed. We don't think. What? We all have motorbike? Not everybody, but. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody. Okay. But like, you know, moped, right? Yeah. The, not a motorcycle, mm -hmm. or like a motorbike. Mm -hmm. So in Korea, it, there's no idea of it being like weird or feminine or something like embarrassing. Mm -hmm. However, in America, Driving a Vespa has this kind of like either gay or feminine or European or just like weird outsider kind of feeling. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, motorcycle, uh -huh. you ride it Motorcycle's cool. this way. Yeah, yeah. And motorbike mm -hmm. is like this way. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's the Vespa. <laughs> it's a little like, it's a little like. <laughs> So, we have this really terrible term in English uh, to call a woman or a man a Vespa. And it means fun to ride, but don't want your friends to know. I think the only reason why it's good to know these words is because maybe you can recognize them if somebody uses them with you or uses them around you. So if you're, if you're with some foreign friends, and you say, and, and you hear the guys say like, oh, I'm gonna take my side chick to the movies this weekend. Mm -hmm. You can think, oh, he's che he's cheating. Don't cheat. I'm telling you right now, you can't cheat. Yeah, 
I think we've pretty much covered all of the words that you need to know when somebody is cheating or lying in a relationship kind of way. Starting from side chick. Yeah, starting from side chick all the way to Vespa. So, all the way to Vespa. <laughs> let's wrap it up and talk about something cooler next time. Okay. All right. Join us next time for something even better. Even better. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that ring button so you can get the notification. And leave us a comment on what you think. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are you trying to make your belly come in first? Is it possible? <laughs>